No, Bob, listen to me. Do not tell her you're an entomologist. Dating outside the field is not easy. You remember when Dave the Mosquito Guy tried to date that girl from the Red Cross? We all know how that ended. The Eumenine wasp genus Pachodinerus is limited to the New World. There are about 45 species total and about 5 species in North America. Females have been recorded as having very variable nesting habits. Most often though, they nest in some pre-existing cavity and use mud or agglutinated sand to make partitions. In this video we will take a closer look at the two most commonly encountered species in North America, Pachodinerus erinus is found in the southeastern United States, and Pachodinerus guadalpensis is found from California to Texas and south to Argentina. Females provision their nests with a variety of caterpillar prey. Many small lepidopter and larvae will be cached for each developing wasp larvae. Reported provisions span several lepidopteran families such as Tortricity, Ecophoridae, and Pyralidae. The first of these two species was described in 1841 by the French entomologist Amade Le Pelletier. In his Natural History of Insects, Le Pelletier described an American wasp he named Odinerus erinus for its red markings. Pachodinerus erinus is a black wasp with red markings. This is the male. Males have a bright yellow clypeus, while females have a black clypeus with two red marks that merge together. Eleven years after Le Pelletier, in 1852, the Swiss entomologist Henri de Saussure, working in Geneva, published a monograph of the solitary wasps. In this work, Saussure described a new Caribbean wasp and named it after its place of origin, Odinerus guadalpensis. Guadalpensis is a small black wasp with yellow markings. It can be differentiated from other members of its genus by having a yellow band on each tergite. Others in North America have yellow banding on all but the first tergite. Another species has banding on only the first two. Males, as usual, are smaller and look similar to the females, except for their conspicuous yellow clypeus. As for size, Pachodinerus species are small compared with other Eumenine genera. Most are smaller than an average worker honeybee. 10 to 12 millimeters for females and 9 to 11 millimeters for males. In 1986, James Carpenter revised the genus for North America. He provided a key to the five species and included complete redescriptions of these species. The only name change would be Precox to Guadalpensis. Twelve years after Carpenter, in 1998, Abraham Willink and Arturo Roig Alsina revised the genus throughout the New World. 45 species were included, as well as 16 described as new. This was a very thorough treatment of the group. The body of the text is in Spanish, but the included key to species is written in both Spanish and English. Taking nothing away from those original sources, if your specimens are from the US, my advice is to check Bug Guide. There, Eric Eaton has contributed a few distinguishing characteristics for all five species that occur in North America it may greatly cut down on the time required for identification. And lastly, one of the distinguishing features of the genus is a complete humeral corinna. Beyond the pronotal corinna, there is a humeral corinna that runs to the back of the pronotum. Other humanid species have either no corinna here or a very short one. Make sure your specimens have this feature before assuming they are pachodinerous. Well, that should get you started. Good luck. As always, a special thanks go to the internet resources that make these videos possible, including the Biodiversity Heritage Library, Discover Life, and Iowa State University's Bug Guide. Look for them online.